Bones by the Killers here on WPG 1071. Coming up next, I've got some requested music for Disconnect the Dots. I don't know if the rest of you folks heard that, but WPGU was just told they'd be fired if they don't win. <laughs> so Maggie, what's it like being a WPGU DJ? Well, um, I guess it's kind of a lot of responsibility. I've got to come here on my own and make sure that the radio station doesn't crash, which is always... I mean, I guess always kind of a concern, not that it really ever has completely crashed. Uh, gotta play the music that the people want to hear. I don't know. <laughs> Is this just another, like, aspect of your lifelong love affair with music, or...? I would definitely say so. I mean, the, the reason that I love radio is that it gives me a chance to just talk about music that I love listening to. So, are there any certain bands that you tend to plug often, or? Um, probably. Well, I worked for Polyvinyl this past summer, so I used to talk about Polyvinyl bands pretty much every single day. I'd be like, this band's on Polyvinyl, that band's on Polyvinyl. Um, but I don't know. Of course, I'll always play some of my favorites in there. Is there any other like music groups you've been a part of on campus, or? Um, I've also been involved with Star Force, which is the student concert promotion organization. So we do everything from, you know, the booking of the bands is all student done, from you know, handing over the check to the band at, at the end of the day once the concert is completed. So from start to finish, it's complete student production, which has been a lot of fun. So, other than putting on concerts, like what are some of the like better ones you've attended yourself? I think my favorite concerts would have to be when I saw Daft Punk at Lollapalooza in 2006. That was definitely one of the craziest and best concerts I've ever been to in my life. We were we were well back past the sound stage in the crowd, so you know, pretty pretty far back from the stage. And literally not a single person was standing around us. WPGU. Sure, what would you like to hear? Uh, sure, what's your name? Matthew? Alright, great request. I'll play that for you coming up next. Alright, bye. Did you ever think that working at a radio station you were required to rock climb with water pouring no, on you? No, this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> I'm assuming since the studio is right here on Green Street, you've seen some kind of crazy things while DJing. Uh, anything in particular that really shocked you or was memorable? Well, one of my favorite things that I ever saw, I think this might be the best. One time, actually, Cold Stone ice cream is right across the street from WPGU. And Green Street, as most of you probably know, is a pretty busy street. I saw a woman pull her car into the median on Green Street, stop the car. She had her flashers on. She, she ran into Cold Stone, bought an ice cream cake while her car is sitting in the median with her flashers on, comes back out, takes her time, strolls back out, puts the ice cream cake in the back seat of the car, gets in the front seat of the car, and drives off. I was just waiting for the cops to show up. I just, I wish they would have. Uh, gotta play the music that the people want to hear. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is this just another, like, aspect of your lifelong love affair with music, or...? I would definitely say so. I mean, the, the reason that I love radio is that it gives me a chance to just talk about music that I love listening to, so... Are there any certain bands that you tend to plug often, or...? Um, probably, well, I worked for Polyvinyl this past summer, so I used to talk about Polyvinyl bands pretty much every single day. I'd be like, this band's on Polyvinyl, that band's on Polyvinyl. Um, but, I don't know, of course I'll always play some of my favorites in there. Is there any other, like, music groups you've been a part of on campus, or...? Um, I've also been involved with Star Force, which is the student concert promotion organization, so we do everything from... You know, the booking of the bands is all student done from, you know, handing over the check to the band at, at the end of the day once the concert is completed. So from start to finish, it's complete student production, which has been a lot of fun. Or be sure to stay tuned for some Wilco, some Dinosaur Jr., some Wolf Parade, and more.